sure he's going to be thrilled at, but certainly thrilled to win a game. Jeffrey, it's been a long and hard tournament. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I was thinking about it uh, on the rest of yesterday, and I think in, I mean, when I come here to play in the U.S. Championship, I've always struggled. Uh, actually, I think maybe the first year was my best result, and I only scored 50%, but otherwise, I mean, after that, I was uh, always in, in the minus. So, and then here, yeah, I came, and I was hoping, okay, maybe this is the year that I can turn things around, but... Uh, I dropped three in a row very, very early. So, yeah, it's just been a battle, uh, uphill climb after that. Definitely a difficult tournament for you. This one, it looked like, all right, the game seems a bit balanced. Everybody's king is safe. It's about this pawn is blockaded. And then all of a sudden you decided, G5, let's go. Yeah, yeah I thought G5 was maybe my best uh, practical try. Uh, but can we go a little bit uh, earlier? I wanted to mention some interesting moments. So yeah, basically, let's even even uh, yeah keep going back uh, all the way when I before I played night before, I think. So yeah, right here uh, yeah before, and originally I was thinking bishop a oh, okay ninety five, and I thought I could go something simple like bishop e eight at first, but then I think after queen e two. Let's say rook c8. I think he just wanted to go like bishop d2. And at first, I was very optimistic about my position with the bishop on a7. But um, I'm really not sure how to proceed from here. Is he just going to have c4 maybe next? So that's why I decided to kind of force the action with knight b4. And I think if queen e2, uh, bishop b5, c4. Here I have two options. I can go bishop e8 back and say that maybe I provoked c4 and I have this b4 square for the knight. I'm not sure uh, what the evaluation is. But there's also a very interesting move, knight d3 after c4. Mm. And now he has two options. He can go cb or knight d3. Um, let's say knight d3. And now I think I take with the queen, actually. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, it gets very messy. Uh, he has two moves. Either queen d1 or knight, uh, knight dc5, I think it was. Knight d Yeah, I think it was C5? knight dc5. Okay. And the thing is, uh, if I, let's say I go queen c5, knight c5, bishop b2. I, I have a feeling if he takes on b7, I take on f1 and I'm better. But he can take on e6 here instead. And for sure, I'm now I'm probably worse. Uh, so yeah, I don't think this works. But uh, instead of queen c5, I have queen d5. Wow. Crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy line. Uh. And then the thing is, yeah, if queen e5, I think I, ah, yeah, I think after bishop f1, you can just go king f1, and maybe there's nothing there. Although, I mean, it's still. Very, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But probably I would have, I would have gone bishop e8 because also he could, uh, I think cb5 was also unclear here. Like cb5, bishop f2. Uh, he can go to either square, but let's say king g2 maybe. Knight e1, king f2, knight c2. Um, yeah, I don't know. Crazy maybe his move. rook a4. <laughs> I'm sending queen e5, but yeah, I, I have no idea, yeah. It's just, yeah, I'd probably go bishop e8, to be honest. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's just. Crazy. But crazy. then, uh, I think he started to outplay me a little bit uh, in the game. So queen b1, knight c6 takes. Yeah, this. I think it was, I didn't see anything better for me. But, yeah, if you just keep going, I think he started to, to outplay me. Uh, like rook e3, yeah, knight just queen e4. And then, yeah, I, we get to this moment after, um, I thought I was actually in trouble because, so after rook e2, uh, knight g5, knight c5. Okay, yeah, stop here. So I was very worried about king h1 for a second. After knight f3? Yeah, champion. because the point is uh, rook d2, knight e4. And I thought I'm just losing an exchange. Um, Looks... 
But here, yeah, luckily I have queen, queen of five. five. Yeah. Oh. This was very important. And now I think it's a complete turnaround. Okay. So, yeah, I was lucky to have this. So he has to take on b7. Or, sorry, he has to take on f3 and b7. And then there's another trick. If I, I want to go knight b4 at first, after knight f b7. Yes. But now he's got uh, queen e4. Sorry, knight b4. Knight yeah. b4, sorry. He's got queen e4, rook d1, king h2, and surprisingly, I'm just lost to him. Wow. That's an easy tactic to fall for. Yeah, so I had to go the other way with knight d4, but now I think it's just equal. Uh, takes, takes. Yep. I think he did very well by going rook d2, because if he goes rook d1, I think, uh, I think the point was queen b5, maybe, and... If I can win the A-pawn, then it's very pleasant for me, but yeah, rook d2 was, was precise. Okay. And now, yeah, I was thinking for a long time, I think I, I didn't choose a very good way. I played, because I wanted to go rook d5 and threaten e5 originally, but I think he goes rook d3 here. So he has, if e5, rook d3, and otherwise I'm not sure how to continue. So that's, I went queen d5, but after b4, uh, e5. I think I was surprised why he didn't go rook ad1 here. Because if anything, he's definitely not at risk. I, I think I have to take on d4 three times, and I, I don't think, I don't believe he's at any risk here. But it should be a draw, I would say. Yeah, queen somewhere, yeah. I, I, it should be a draw, I think, but if anyone's trying, it's white. Yeah, it feels so, right? So I think maybe he missed my response slightly. Like after queen d3, queen b7, I think was a good response. Um, queen Yeah, queen b7, b7 to gain the tempo. I see. And then, yeah, now, okay, finally we come to this moment that Maurice mentioned with uh, g5. And I was very surprised when he took, because I thought he can just go h5. Exactly. I would keep the queen right yeah, closed. I mean, my point was that maybe in some rook endgames, this pawn can become a target, but it's really not very relevant. Um, I'd probably go queen b5. I wasn't sure, but yeah, maybe queen b5. And, and yeah, OK, the game go. goes on, but it should be about equal. But yeah, I think when he took, he missed this trick, rook e8. I think mm -hmm. rook e8 was very lethal. So there's a nice line of b a6, rook e1. Whoops. Uh, takes queen b3, rook e8. OK, there might be other ways to win, but let's say rook e8, king g7, a7, rook a6. Uh, promote, and a queen b1 is a strong check. Oh, nasty. Yeah, so if he goes to h2, I have rook h6. If king g2, I take queen e4. Mm. Uh, no king h2, rook h6 will be mate. King g2, rook takes rook takes and you pick up the rook. So nice. yeah, that's why the other line I was interested about was he can try b6 uh, here. Okay. And then I was going rook h6, f3, rook e3, queen d1, rook f3. I mean, it looks huge, but I wasn't 100% because, you know, pawn on b6, maybe if he doesn't get mated. But I think, so uh, maybe he has to go rook g2. Uh, take on g3, queen e2. And I was happy to find rook gh3. There might be other moves, but I like rook gh3. And if rook g5, king f8, and if queen e8, king h7. So I think it should be just winning. Uh, sorry, repeat, so queen e8, king h7? Yeah, so he's just out of checks. I see. I see. So yeah, this should be winning. Uh, so that's why I had to go queen d1. And sorry, Jeffrey, you just have a traffic jam right behind you as a lot of players are searching for getting ready for interviews as well. Uh, we just have one question mm -hmm. we just got to ask you, though. Uh, in the game, what happened was when did you see Queen H8? That was the money move for us. Well, yeah. actually, I was, I was very upset with myself uh, about playing AB5. I feel like I should have gone Rook H6 right away. Uh, because here, I think rook b4, actually, he's still in the game, maybe. a b5, rook b4. 
Ah. I thought it, maybe I went back in the game. Oh, we didn't. We missed that moment. Yeah, because okay, it's complex. I I won't show everything, but yeah. So this. But you yeah, saw but, Queen yeah, H8 yeah, here, early. Yeah, no, here, yeah, yeah. Queen H8 was always. I mean, I always had ideas of you know, having this uh, battery on the H file. Very nice, and then you went on for a clean win. Well, congratulations on your victory, uh, Jeffrey. Thanks. Keep it up. Keep it we'll up. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hope to 